Hello YouTubers, this is Shem. In this video I'm gonna show you step by step how to obtain root on bootloader locked Sony Xperia Z1 with Android 4.4. This is a newer and simplified version of my previous video guide. This method will not unlock the bootloader and it will only work on Sony Xperia Z1. Unfortunately the Sony Xperia Z1S is not supported. If you have never rooted the device before, or don't understand some terms or have some questions, make sure you watch my most commonly asked questions video, which should clarify all the basics. This video is based on a guide published by XDA Developers Forum member NUT, and the method was devised with the help of Ryukon and RHBH. I'll have links to their profiles on XDA Developers in the video description, so make sure you thank them for their hard work and donate if you can. Before we get started, you will need to download the files that are listed in the video description. I've provided download links for each one, but if some of them stop working, go to the original XDA thread to get alternative links. All data on your device will be erased, so make sure you have a backup before proceeding. If you want to backup all your data, including apps, I would advise purchasing Helium Backup Premium, which will let you backup everything without root. If you ever wish to unroot the phone or install stock firmware, all you will have to do is flash one of the stock firmwares in FTF format through Flash Tool. There is a video on my channel which shows you exactly how to do that. To get started, you'll, you might need to install Sony Xperia Z1 USB drivers from the Sony website. Now we can install software called Flash Tool from its official webpage. Always make sure that you have the newest version installed. Install it on your PC and then go to the installation directory. Open the folder Drivers to install Fastboot and Flash Mode drivers that will be required to root the phone. Now place two FTF extension files that you've downloaded inside Flash Tool Firmware's directory on your computer. You should have one with .534 firmware and the second stripped FTF file that corresponds to your Xperia Z1 model number. In this guide, we're going to install Android 4.4.757 firmware as the 761 is not yet available for all model versions and it is an insignificant update. If you wish to install .761 files instead, just use the corresponding flashable zip and FTF. On your Xperia Z1, go to Settings, then About Phone and press 7 times on Build Number. This will enable Developer Options. Now go back and in Developer Options enable USB Debugging. Now go back to Security and check Unknown Sources. Open Flash Tool software on your computer, press on the lightning bolt icon, select Flash Mode and then from the list of firmwares, select the .534 firmware. In Wipe Options, select All and don't exclude anything. Now click on Flash. Power off your Xperia Z1 and connect it to the computer whilst holding the volume down button. This will put the phone in Flash Mode and the flashing process will begin. Wait patiently for it to finish as it will take a few minutes. Once the flashing is finished, you can unplug the phone and switch it on. Now once again go to settings, then about phone and press 7 times on the build number to allow developer options. Go back to developer options to enable USB debugging and then to security to check unknown sources. Now go to locked dual recovery installer zip file on your computer. Unpack it and click on the install.bat file. In the software, select option 3 by typing it on the keyboard and press enter. Now connect your phone using the USB cable. The installer will start and will root the phone and install recovery. At the end of the process, the phone will reboot and it will take you straight to the recovery. Here click on reboot and then system. You will get a notification prompt asking if you want to install SuperSU. Swipe to confirm. Now reboot the phone. On the apps list you'll find SuperSU. Go to the Play Store to update it and then install the SU binaries. Connect the phone via the USB cable and put the flashable zip on either internal or external SD card in Xperia Z1. Now disconnect the device and power off your phone. Press the power button and wait for a green LED and vibration. Once it vibrates, press the volume down button to go into recovery. In recovery go to install. On the top, choose either internal or external SD card depending on where you copied the file. Locate flashable zip, click on it and swipe to flash. Once the flash is finished, do not press reboot, but go back instead. In the menu, select reboot and then power off. On your computer, open flash tool and click on the lightning icon. 
Then select flash mode and from the list of firmwares choose 757 firmware. Make sure that nothing is checked in, the, in either wipe or exclude. Click flash and connect your Sony Xperia Z1 to the computer whilst holding the volume down button. Wait patiently for the flashing process to finish. Once the flashing is finished you can disconnect your Xperia Z1. The first boot will take a few minutes. Then you will be welcomed by the configuration menu. On the list of apps in the phone you will find Super SU and NDR Utils. You can check if you have root by opening the NDR Utils app and seeing if the root access prompt appears. If it does, then you have successfully rooted your phone on Android 4.4 KitKat. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and reviews. Thanks for watching.